Yeah, it's time to work now, baby. Right. Yeah. Keep that right hand high. Keep that right hand high. Uh -huh. You hold the right hand in the body, you try to make sure you get about the left hook. Okay, okay. You're trying to find something to work. Griffin will see six. Hot humid night in here. Grand ballroom at the Trump Taj Mahal. Both fighters. Every time, every time Jones stays against the ropes and allows Griffin to throw those body punches, it's scoring points for Griffin. Good left foot by Griffin. Jones nailed him, but Griffin nailed him right back. Out punched him. Jones using some of the stuff that had dazzled previous opponents. Griffin eating it up right now. This really has Jones' attention now. Got nailed with some pretty solid shots. Good right hand by Jones. Jones starting to use the straight right hand lead a little bit more often as Griffin continues to work with that left hand held way down. Right now, Jones is starting to get a little wild, and Griffin is still composed. Jones is going to have to get a little wild if he's going to improve those punch stack numbers and work more damage against Montel Griffin physically. Well, he's going to have to change his strategy and start to throw some body punches, set up his other punches. Hasn't done anything in the fight so far to wear Griffin down and take away his team. Griffin leaning on Jones against the rope, working him to the body when he gets the chance. Play in a way that he cannot enjoy. Jones is trying everything in his bag of tricks and nothing is working thus far. said to us, hey, I grew up in the gym. I'm not going to be thrown off by any of his tricks. I've seen all that stuff since I was five years old. Not too many, though, have seen all the tricks that Roy Jones has. And he's a special talent. But what he's doing now, I don't know. Jones, the blistering combination using his incomparable hand speed. Griffin backs out waves his right hand and goes back to work with the left. Jones leading with the right hand more and more frequently to take advantage of Griffin's low left. Another right hand lead. Just missed. This figure to be a tactical fight, but a real fight is breaking out. Absolutely. the best so far for Roy Jones, but here's a look at some of the damage that Montel Griffin has been able to do during the fight. Throughout the early rounds, Jones backing up into the corners, allowing Montel Griffin to go at his body and often to land left shots upstairs. And then Jones having to take more and more chances as the fight progressed to try to get inside and turn some of the tide against Montel Griffin. But so far, it's been like a dream for Montel, who's had much the best of it against the unbeaten Roy Jones. And we go past the halfway mark. I can't understand Jones, still I still can't understand that jab. Not only he's not reaching Griffin, but he's jumping back when he throws it. Yeah, I don't think he's ever been an exponent of the jab because he's always defense. Jones looking down and winking at Harold Letterman and talking 
into Larry Merchant as he tries to work against Griffin while Griffin leans in on it. Well, he's got to start winking at Griffin. Good left hook by Jones. Right hand and a left by Jones. One of his better combinations of the fight. But you can just see Griffin bristle when he gets hit with that punch. And he may feel the punch, but it, it brings up his competitive juices. Well, it becomes clear that in the light heavyweight division, it's going to take accumulations of punches for Jones to knock people out. He's not going to be able to do it with one or two punches at a time the way he did at 160. Well, uh, again, uh, Jim, it, de it depends on the opponent. He's really not hitting Griffith that solid. He's moving a little bit with all the punches. He's rolling. Even when Jones lands those right-hand leads, the little move is from Griffin taking some of the sting away from it. Midway through the seventh round, now Jones stepping back into that cautious stance that dominated his earlier activities in the fight. You see, he's shaking his head that the punches don't hurt, but they're scoring points. And when they're in this position, okay, Griffin throws more and lands more to the body than does Roy Jones. Should be throwing that left hook right down there to the body. That'll set up everything else. Well, you saw him fainting with the right hand and the right shoulder and then throwing the left hook to the body. And there's again Griffin flurrying. Griffin's robe wore the inscri inscription Shock the World. His white trunk with black trim. And there's a knockdown. Quick left hook inside. Second time in his career, Griffin's been down. He wanted this call to slip. Seven. calls it a knockdown. He was off balance, but it was a legitimate punch that put him down. I have to see that again. I don't do not think that was a clean knockdown. I think it was a knockdown, uh, Gil, just because it was a punch. Well, that I'll have to see it again. Game. I'll have to see it again. He certainly wasn't hurt by the punch. That's for sure. He wasn't. But he ducked away from a, from a one punch and caught the other one coming in, I thought. And if it gave Roy Jones a two-point round, it could turn out to be a critical moment in the back. Stay out of this corner. It's real wet over here, Roy. Don't work in this corner. Get him back. Get his back, too. Way to go. Top and double fight. Sir. Okay, let's see what we saw. Any different? Ducked away from the right hand there. The left hand put him straight on the canvas. Yes, sir, I agree now. It was a legitimate knockdown. Clean, short, little left hook on the inside. He leaned back from the right hand, and Roy was there with the left. Right. Watch this. Lean back, and you can see Griffin didn't have a foot behind him. Yeah. And down he went. Supposed to show you the power and strength of Roy Jones. Well, and here's how significant that knockdown could be on the scorecards. That was one of only eight punches that Jones landed in the round by punch that number. Just suppose that he got a two-point round out of a round in which he threw 28 punches and landed eight. That would be extremely fortunate for Roy Jones. And you see the damp spot in Jones' corner where Alton Murkison told his fighter, don't go to work here. Jones himself is drenched as he waits for Montel Griffin to join him in the center of the ring for round number eight. Wait, wait, wait. He has come on in the last three yeah. rounds, Jones. Right across, well. This is what champions are supposed to do. Timekeeper can't get his stopwatch to work. Now they dispense with the stopwatch and just go. Not sure how we'll time the round as Timekeeper continues to work to try to get his stopwatch going. Harold Letterman, did you give Roy Jones a two-point round in the seventh? Jim, you had to. You had to go along with referee Tony Perez. But let me tell you something. There is no water in a neutral corner. And a neutral corner is basically dry. Fighters don't sit down in a neutral corner where they pour water on them. So Manzel Griffin got hit with the shot, and he went down. I've got it 67-65. Four rounds to three, Roy Jones. 
I have it four rounds to three for Griffin, but it's an even fight on my card because of the two-point range. I'm, I'm in, in line with you, Larry. I have it four rounds to three Griffin, and an even fight if you want to count that knockdown as two-point round. So if you go along with Larry Merchant and Gil Clancy, it's an even fight coming to round number eight, and it would be an even fight only because Jones got a knockdown in a round in which he landed eight out of 28 punches. Those are anemic numbers when compared to the kinds of numbers he's put up throughout his career. Montel Griffin has Roy Jones thoroughly befuddled in here with his style, and Jones is hoping that with his extraordinary skills, he can find a way to do enough damage down the stretch to win the fight. And strength. Roy Jones is a very, very strong individual. Well, so is Montel. Yes, he is. No question about it. Tony clearly underestimated Montel Griffin in their first fight. Good stiff jab by Montel Griffin. Roy Jones fires the right across the top and then immediately covers up. And Montel Griffin backs him with a counter left. But also Montel Griffin moved Jones with his shoulder first, which was a foul. And then he nailed him. 